Hey everybody, Caleb here and welcome back to the channel. Thanks for jumping on and we're gonna get right into, I got three games for you. They are not original ones that I made by any means, but there are three games that our youth ministry has done, used, seen, that have been beneficial and I hope they're gonna be beneficial for you guys. Really quick so you don't miss out on any other stuff, make sure to hit the subscribe button, drop a like if you enjoy any of these games and uh, comment the ones that you guys enjoy doing in your youth ministries to help somebody find a good idea so that they'll be able to use it, utilize it and have a great time within their community. But let's dive right on in. The first game that we're going to talk about is Cutthroat Mafia or Murder in the Dark as our youth ministry calls it. Um, I grew up playing this game in high school and in our youth ministry and at college and all that different stuff and we've enjoyed it a ton and I bet you guys will too. So what you'll need to do is you'll need to pick a space that is good for the size of a group that you have. I played this in high school in somebody's house. That worked out well. We had about like 10, 12, 15 people. Um, for our youth ministry typically we end up playing this in a gymnasium. We got like 40, 50 people playing the game. That kind of a thing. And so we want to be able to have it work out really, really well. Now, the way the game will flow is you'll have it where you have a narrator who gets everyone circled up at the start of the game. At the start of the game, then, you're going to hand out cards. You have two different types of cards in your deck. You'll have number cards and face cards. That's all you care about for this game. So your number cards will designate somebody as a townsperson. They have no unique role. The second card you will have that's not a number card will be a face card, and that will be your mafia members. Now, what you'll then do is have everybody put their heads down, have their eyes closed, and then at one point you will let the mafia members look up for a moment, and they'll look around, identify who each other are, and they are on a team trying to then kill the townspeople. What then happens is you turn off the lights, and people start going about walking around, things like that. When this is happening, the mafia members are going to try to sneak up behind a townsperson. It is pitch black in this room, and they will try to slide their hand across their neck, and the townsperson then has to fall over dead. When they do that, they are laying there. They're silent. They say nothing. And when another townsperson finds them, or if a mafia member wants to, they could do this too if they want. Strategy, that kind of a thing. They will yell out, dead body. So a townsperson finds the body on the ground, they yell, dead body. And then everyone gathers around and you hold a town council. When you do this, you have people vote on who they think is the murderer. They will accuse. Usually we just allow two or three accusations. And then that's how it kind of flows. That's how it goes. You can make a lot of modifications to this game to fit different groups, different fun and ways of doing it. Our group, let's just be real, just be honest with you guys, it took three times of playing this for our students to really get like just the energy and the uh, kind of strategy behind the game. So I encourage you, if you're going to do this game, do it a couple of times, have a fun time with it though. They're going to love it and all that good stuff. The second game I want to tell you guys about is a man hunt. A man hunt is a game where you have a couple of people designated as kind of you're just like spread out, run away, hiding from everybody type of a person and then you have your people who are the hunters so the way that our youth ministry has gone about doing this is we went on Amazon and for like 15 bucks you can get latex masks and so we have a bunch of different latex masks and then what we're going to be doing is having it where leaders or key students whatever will be picked out to wear these latex masks and then they are hiding whether it's in a building outside wherever it may be whatever venue you're using they are hiding in the mask and then basically it's a giant game of tag the first person or team to tag them then has to bring them back to your kind of home base zone and then you go out. The team that finds the most people in the manhunt wins. It's really easy, really simple. doesn't usually cost a lot of money because you can get those masks for really cheap and they add kind of a fun little element to it and that kind of a thing. The final game is one that you guys could do in a group setting. You could do it up front. It's usually just good for a couple of laughs and it is a hot dog on the head game. Now, basically with this game, you can pick a different name for it and that kind of a thing. But what you do is you get some safety helmets and you take screws and you put the screws up from the bottom through the top so that the spikes of the screws are sticking out on the top of the helmet. Now, these are obviously like kind of dangerous because you could like poke your hand, stab your hand, whatever. So be careful with them. Don't just give them to anybody, that kind of a deal. But then what you do is you have it where one competitor will put on the helmet or if you have teams, you can do two competitors, put on the helmets, however many helmets you have and they will then be paired up with somebody else. Then what you're going to be doing is you'll have a bunch of hot dogs and they will be throwing thought out hot dogs towards the person's head trying to have them catch as many as they can. You can do a lot of variations with this. You could have people be blindfolded. You could have it where they're using like different types of things to throw. 
but all in all, we found hot dogs work well, and then those helmets work really great. It's easy, you could do it up front, you could do teams, there's a whole way, a lot of ways to do it, but what you really need is that safety helmet, a bunch of screws, put them in there, and make sure it's safe and all that good stuff. Now, with all that being said, those are the three games I had for you guys today that I wanted to outline. Those were pretty quick. I wanted just to be able to give you guys some inspiration. I hope they're beneficial. Again, subscribe to the channel if you guys don't want to miss out on any other youth ministry related content and videos. Drop a like on this video if you enjoyed it. And also make sure to comment some games that you guys have enjoyed and that sort of a thing. But with all that being said, my name's Caleb. Thanks for checking out this video and I will see you next time.